hi guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you for the likes the subscribe and the share on my last video thank you i appreciate it so today we'll be talking about relationships but i won't be talking about the usual aspects of relationships that we like to focus on i'd like to talk about the importance of genotype in a relationship When we're talking about relationships and you ask people like um, what do you want in a man you hear oh I want him to be financially stable I want him to be smart I want him to be handsome and all that those are valid but I like a society where genotype gets into that list where people actually put genotype as a priority I'm from Nigeria and in Nigeria the number of sickle cell cases when I looked up the statistics, I was really sad. It is growing every day and it's really sad. So I think we need more awareness on people knowing their genotypes and making sure that they get married or have kids with partners that have compatible genotypes with them to prevent having children with sickle cell anemia. So we have different types of genotypes, but today I'll focus on the most common ones. We have the ones which are not so common like the AC, SC, and the CC, but I wouldn't be talking about that. Today I'll focus on AA, AS, and SS genotype. So the genotype generally you inherit from your mom and your dad. So you get one copy from your dad and one copy from your mom. That's why it's important for couples or partners wanting to have kids to make sure they're compatible because if you're not compatible you can have a child who has sickle cell anemia so for example if you're as you shouldn't have a kid or it's more complicated but i'll try to simplify it you shouldn't have a kid with a partner who is also as because there's a high probability of having a kid who inherits the s from the dad and the s from the mom giving the SS and having the sickle cell anemia. So today, I'd like us to try to find out our genotype. Some of us do not know our genotype. It's a very cheap and simple and fast test. You can walk to the nearest hospital to find out your genotype. It is really, really, really important. Like, it is important. So many people are going through the problem of dealing with sickle cell it is not a good situation the child is going through pains the child is spending more time in the hospital than they actually spend to enjoy their lives the parents are so overburdened the emotional stress the monetary stress and all that yes their technology like to help um couples that are both um as and as with incompatible genotype to have children that don't have sickle cell anemia but how many people can actually afford these um interventions and how many people can deal with the emotional stress that also comes with this so i think it is better to look for a partner that is compatible in the genotype sense of point of view I know I might sound um, inconsiderate because I've had people tell me that oh it takes a long time to find a partner it's hard to find someone you love and eventually you find someone that is perfect that is your match he has everything you want and the only thing standing between you guys is the genotype I feel the pain like I can't even imagine being in that situation like it's really tough to like let go of someone you think is the best for you just because of genotype <clears throat> so I don't really know but the pain of letting the person go compared to the pain of having a child going through sickle cell anemia I don't know but it's not the best to go ahead with such but if you have the money for the procedure or you wait all your chances and you decide to go ahead of course it's your life it's your decision but i'm just out here to educate people who might not know this whole genotype and everything i didn't really want to go deep into it to not sound too scientific scientific but if you have any questions about genotype or if you want to know anything please feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email i'm open to talk about it and i'd like to share a bit of my experience 
with sickle cell anemia it is really if you know me if you're close to me you know like it is really important to me and I'm, I'm an advocate for sickle cell anemia so the first time i got to know about sickle cell anemia i was in secondary school i went to a boarding school <laughs> So we had this matron. A matron is the person that looks um, over the hostel, takes care of the students and all that. And this matron was fire. <laughs> when I mean fire, I mean like she was strict and she didn't used to take rubbish. Like she was strict. She was this hardcore, strong woman and all that. She used to say things like, when I was in secondary school, I was a fighter how do you want to mess with that kind of woman i'm just trying to describe like how she was so this strong woman one night there was kind of commotion in the hostel and i heard like the hostel gates opening and blah 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 and i went there and i saw the matron at the gate trying to open the gate and call for attention of the security men and what was going on there was a sickle cell patient who was having crisis who they needed to get to the hospital as soon as possible <sighs> that was my first experience with sickle cell anemia and i was like what's going on and they were like oh she's a sickle and she's sick and she needs to get to the hospital like her temperature was high probably almost 40 degrees if I checked I feel like it was up to that and she was in so much pain she was weeping she was crying it wasn't a good experience and after that I saw other I lived with some patients some people with sickle cell anemia so it's not the best I want to give a shout out to everybody living with sickle cell anemia i want to send all my love and all the strength you need i want to say you guys are real warriors and i wish you all the strength you need keep going so i'll round up my video here if you didn't get any points from my ranting i'll give a summary so the first is know your genotype the second is please make sure you try to find a partner with a compatible genotype or make sure you have other alternatives to prevent your kids from having the sickle cell anemia and please feel free to ask your partner not your partner like when you meet someone you feel like you might end up with or you have an attraction to it's good to like ask about genotype before you get deep into it because some people are dating for a long time they don't ask for genotype and when they fall in love and they get to the marriage stage they find out that they are incompatible and that way it's really hard to go back or make right decisions because emotions love are already involved so please find out your genotype make sure you're compatible with your partner thank you